heels. Well, some women are so addicted to high heels that they're going to serious extremes, even turning to cosmetic surgery for their shoes. We're talking about toe shortening surgery and other drastic measures women are taking to step out in style. ABC's Diana Perez has the story. From peep toe pumps to sexy slingbacks, a beautiful pair of shoes can suck me in. Charmaine Gubbs is a self-proclaimed high heel fanatic. These are my New Year's Eve Jimmy Choo's that I have not put on my foot yet. I think they will be a classic eventually. I've measured six inches. Look at the height. Why do women love shoes? I have no idea, but I love shoes. I really do. But her love of sky high heels comes with a price. And it burns and it's like fire. Pain in the ball of her foot. But giving up her beloved shoes is not an option. In fact, Charmaine and women across the country are going to extremes to fit into their heels, even if it means chopping off their toes. Tell me if you feel any pain here. This woman is so embarrassed by her long toe, she's having cosmetic surgery to make her second toe shorter than her big toe. For Jennifer Pyron, it's not the length of her toes that gets to her, it's the sweat. So these are my favorite summer shoes, and unfortunately, as you can see, they're ruined. Jennifer is visiting podiatrist Dr. Suzanne Levine to have Botox injected into her feet to stop the sweating. A lot of people have the problem, especially women that like to wear great shoes. They, want to, they don't want their shoes ruined. Shoes are very expensive. It really is quite a problem. What are you hoping you'll get from this procedure? I'm hoping that I'll get, obviously, drier feet and save the longevity of my shoes and keep in style and keep them looking nice. <laughs> in the room next door, heel lover Charmaine is waiting for a procedure to fix that pain in the ball of her foot. And you do know that a lot of people are going to hear this and say that's just crazy. Yeah, but not when you love shoes. <laughs> Dr. Levine injects a biodegradable cushioning, similar to what you might get in your smile lines into the foot, replacing the natural cushioning. You pick up, and that's it. She says it lasts around nine months, but not all doctors think messing with your feet is a good idea. Although I don't have anything inherently against cosmetic surgery, I have no problem if someone wants to change their nose or, or change their boobs, but you don't walk on your boobs. Still, many women won't be swayed. Jennifer is no longer embarrassed by her sweat-stained shoes. <laughs> Once it kicked in, I definitely noticed a difference. And a week after Charmaine's treatment, she's pain-free. I feel like not so frightened by my shoes anymore because I love them and I look forward to wearing them in comfort, not in agony. And that was Diana Perez reporting. You can get any of these procedures, by the way, but you want to make sure you go to a licensed professional whose expertise is cosmetic treatment of the feet. Lara, I didn't even know that that existed. I know, and I know we both love our heels. We do. All right, not thank you, much, Amy. Though. Not that much. All right, thanks, Amy. All right, moving on, Jonathan McHenry. Boy, he weighed more than 500 pounds when he realized he'd never see his two children grow up if he didn't make a major life change. So he did. He turned to Chris Powell, our friend of Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition, to help him change his life forever. Chris and Jonathan will join us live in a minute for a remarkable story. But first, a look at...